as you are all involved already in social innovation, you might observe that there is a lot of resistance to change. And um, my experience, uh, collected in a couple of decades, uh, is that uh, you might explain that resistance in different uh, categories. And there's one category that's related to power. People keep to power, like to continue their power positions, and in some cases uh, it's a conflict that could only be solved in the domain of power. But in most cases um, there is another explanation for resistance to change and that is that people have invested uh, emotionally uh, and otherwise in the status quo, in the status quo. And that they like to keep to the status quo because they are uncertain about the consequences of change. Uh, well, I've explained already that that uh, you cannot uh, uh, get rid of uncertainty because the world in general cannot be forecasted. So. Uh, Attempts to exclude uncertainty are in most cases silly. But you can find a way of dealing with uncertainty, dealing with risks, dealing with opportunities and threats. And uh, that leads me to another observation, and that is that people in general do not like to be changed. They might like to change, but uh, the way in which the change is accompanied by others is essential for their uh, reflection on their own change and experience of change. And people uh, like to live with the idea that there is their own free will that causes the change. Now, of course, this way of thinking leads to all kinds of participatory democracy and other uh, social arrangements. But the essential part is that innovators should not operate in a way in which they intervene in the life of others and like to cause change, but enable people to change. And that attitude, I think, is precious and essential for your success.